An article published on the Business to Community website has advised those looking to improve their public speaking skills to study three groups of people – pastors, comedians and meteorologists. This video will examine what we can learn from these groups of people when it comes to public speaking. My name is Gemma. Welcome to Public Speaking News. Public speakers are often encouraged to study and learn from great presenters. In the Business to Community article, Suzanne Baroncini Mo urges individuals to study pastors, comedians, and meteorologists. What can we learn from these three groups of people? Pastors are able to come up with a new presentation every single week. Comedians are able to deliver the same material repeatedly. However, they have the ability to perform it like it is a new every single time. Meteorologists do not use teleprompters and as such teach us that it is possible to deliver presentations at ease as long as you know your content. Andy Harrington, a public speaking expert, said recently... So what can we learn from different types of speakers? From pastors that deliver a motivational, spiritual message every Sunday that's unique and different? and also from those people that deliver the same speech over and over again, but to a different audience, like a comedian, for example. And, of course, people that don't use teleprompters. What can we learn from that? Well, there is a common thread that runs through those three presentations. And that is that initially, yes, you have to create a presentation, but there's a style to creating it, and it all comes from delivering something in the beginning that you own, that you feel passionate about that you enjoy delivering. From the spiritual speaker, you will find that yes, every speech is slightly different, but it all comes from the same set of values. It comes from the same set of principles, the same set of beliefs. And all you're really doing there is emphasizing those different beliefs in different ways by giving different evidence, a story perhaps, or maybe something that's happened in the uh, community recently, maybe something that's happened in the world recently that is utilised to reinforce a belief that the pastor has that helps everybody in the uh, congregation to uh, continue to form the similar or same attitudes towards spirituality uh, that they've had previously, to reinforce it, to drive deeper the beliefs. When it comes to comedians, Yes, they're delivering a different audience every single time, but it's got to sound like it's new and fresh each time. That means you have to fall in love with your content. You have to fall in love with the whole idea of delivering it. You can't afford to be bored in any way. So again, you're tapping into those inner values inside, the parts of you that want to entertain, to en encourage people, but also to be free enough to have freedom of expression. Because one of the things we also know about comedians is that even though the majority of that speech is similar, they will always allow some freedom of expression to interact with an audience because every audience is different. And it provides unique opportunities to connect and to deepen people's understanding or to entertain and have fun. So never uh, script something out so it's totally 100% the way that you uh, designed it for the page. It's also important to leave freedom of expression as well. And that's the problem when you use a teleprompter. When you use a teleprompter, you've essentially designed the speech when you are not in a passionate state. You've designed the presentation when you were sat behind a computer, potentially. Or even somebody else designed it for you. And then you have to deliver it as if it's your own. The problem with that is that there's a very big difference between writing for the page and writing for the stage. That isn't to say there isn't uh, times where delivering a speech word for word uh, is something that has to happen. Politicians, world leaders, etc., have to do that kind of thing. But it's still important that when it's delivered, it's delivered in a way that sounds fresh, that it isn't being read. So you need to read ahead, look up, and then deliver it to the audience as if it's coming out of your mouth unconsciously. Always remember, speaking is an unconscious skill. So anytime you make it conscious and you think about it too much, it doesn't work. It's a bit like breathing. If you think about it too much, it becomes difficult. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the matter. Please leave your interesting views and questions in the comments section below. To find out more about Andy Harrington, Jet Set Speaker and their free training videos, simply click the button displaying on the video right now.